Hi, y'all. It's Karen and... Pluto. What are you doing? Fixing my cough. Oh, Here okay. for Karen and Pluto's not another review channel, another movie review. So in this one, we headed back to one of the playlists we started because we actually haven't reviewed any more I'm of like these. over a year. <laughs> any of these Jeez. in a while, even though we said, oh, we're going to review them all. So. Well, I wanted to watch it again. So, um, for the one million to one time. Yeah. So for this review, we're doing Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter, which isn't. But I like it. Um, this was made in 1984. It's rated R. It's 92-ish minutes. No, it's PG-13. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, at the beginning of this, we kind of get a recap of one through three for the first, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> I didn't really? I don't know, five minutes? I guess. I, I don't say know. like maybe two or three. I don't know. I never timed it. I was going to time it, but I didn't. All right, think we get a montage of one, two, and three. Yeah. Then we go to the cool credits. And so then, then we get to the hospital. Not the hospital. No, we it's basically like, pick up at the end of three where the police are still cleaning up. One ambulance shows up to pick up Jason's they're cleaning body. Up the, um, the ambulance driver, one female driver, is kind of freaked out a little bit um, because the body is kind of, um, the hand, arms keep falling. And, she, and <laughs> so then Jason's we, just messing with her. We get to the hospital, we get to the morgue, morgue and we meet Axel, who's a total dude. He's funny. He's a total dude. I like him. I do like him. He's funny. So, you know, he signs. He me. likes the ladies. Yeah. Dead or alive. Like me. Yeah. Because he was saying something about the girl over there who was, and the one driver's like, he's dead. She's was cute. And he goes, that eh, still is. You know, so. Hey, whatever turns you on. Um, the endless drivers leave. Axel goes and hits on the one nurse who's basically like, you know, get away from me. You're an asshole. But she wants it. Um, so eventually she does come in the room where Axel's watching some aerobic workout video. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's very, it's, I'll try to find that. On it's like these old ones that would have been on like in the eighties, nineties, like in the early morning. I remember watching those in the eighties. Yeah. I so, those. I mean, it's, it's dated as you can tell. I used to watch those and eat snacks. Um, the nurse comes in, says she's just there to watch the news. Well they, well, they end up starting to make out and Jason's hand falls off the gurney hits her in the thigh she freaks out axel freaks out i can't even he just like holy fucking buck 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 the buck you can't even jesus christmas and <laughs> and she yells get that guy in the freezer you better I, get that sucker in the ice box yeah I, she's like i'm crazy i have to be crazy and she leaves she so, sets up her dress or whatever her is. nurse top yeah. thing um <laughs> so axel puts Jason in the freezer, and you can see breath. That's cool. I never noticed that on video, but I can see it better on DVD. So then Axel's back to watching the aerobics. Jason basically comes up behind him, saws his neck, and twists it, and that's the end of Axel. Maybe Jason wanted to watch um, some of those aerobics. I don't know. Uh, the nurse is over in a room or two over doing inventory. Jason shows up and kills her as well. Doesn't he gut her or something? Yeah, he stabs her and kind of... That's cool. So we cut away to Trish and mom who are jogging and talking about dad. Uh, Trish's parents recently separated. So her, her younger brother, Tommy, which is, I guess you would consider this movie the first in the Tommy trilogy. Um, what happened to their dad? I wonder why he never showed up. I don't know. They say later about them. She says later about them being just recently separating and they just were, they had gone there and dad somewhere else. Um, and then we eventually get to meet Tommy, who's sitting there with one of his masks on, um, playing video games. And actually, I love their cabin. That would be very. That's a real cabin. Yeah, I would love to stay. It there. still exists. You actually can you you can actually play that on the Friday the Thirteenth video game too. I don't remember both the houses in this movie. Oh, I think I remember. You don't yeah. play that anymore. I haven't played it in a while because it glitches and pisses me off. Anyways, um, they're talking about. The cabin next door. Mom says something about being run by six kids. So we meet the rest of our crew who are driving in. Um, Teddy and Jimbo are sitting in the back. Jim, McFly. Yeah, Crispin Glover. Hey, McFly. And <laughs> they're talking about how he broke up with BJ Betty or something. You know what that means. And Teddy has this computer he uses that basically says uh, Jimbo is a dead fuck. <laughs> and this is kind of ongoing throughout the Why is it so movie. funny? I don't know. That don't bother me. I think it's funny. Um, eventually they're lost and here they find they see Pamela Voorhees' grave. 
Yeah, that's kind of weird. So one of the characters, I think Doug, um, is looking at the map. He goes, okay, go. Did I date wrong? I'm sorry. It said 1979. Yeah, 19... but and it, maybe you should check. But remember the first one? It was Friday, June 19th or something. Friday, June 13th. I'm sorry. But I don't think there was a Friday the 13th in 1979. I don't know. I don't know. I heard that. I, I may be know. wrong. I know you won't it just fact had, check it. It but, just had like yeah. the years. It didn't even have like dates or anything. Yeah. Um, they Doug basically tells Polly, go this way so many miles and turn and we should get there. Well, while they're going, they eventually, there's this random hitchhiker. Yeah, she's cool. That they don't pick up. Teddy makes a not so nice remark hey honey you got a sister and oh, she oh. gives him the nice one finger salute and jason shows up and kills her so she's just there to be killed and eat a banana and eat a banana <sighs> um eventually they make it to the cabin mom doesn't look real yeah, thrilled nice. seeing the group that's there Probably took um, them six hours to get there they also tommy and trish and gordon the dog are over there kind of introducing he's himself. cool but he's no muffin yeah um Sam and Sarah are in the bathroom talking about sleeping arrangements. You know, that chick from Weird Science. Yeah. And basically, we see Tommy getting a nice show from his bedroom, and he's, like, totally freaking out. But he, he's, like, oh, my God, looking. But he doesn't – there's no boobs or anything, but he just is kind of watching. I look, too, but I won't be acting like that. Yeah. I'd be, like – Yeah, he's, like, going totally ballistic for, like, a 10, 12-year-old. I would just be, like – and mom comes up to tuck him in and kind of sees, and she look, the look on her face is like, yeah, buddy, we know you're not sleeping. I think she does pull the blind down so he can't see anything. He should have got back up and opened it. Yeah. So we get to the next day. Um, our group of six is walking, trying to find a lake. They meet two of the other characters, the twins, Terry and Tina. Doubleman twins. Um, eventually, they all get to the lake. They're going skinny dipping. Uh, Trish and Tommy... We're out. Uh, Gordon jumps out of the car at this point, yeah. and Tommy gets the show. Gordon's like, hey, Tommy, come and check this out. Yeah. As you said, Gordon was trying to hook his boy up. Yeah. That's so, cool. So um, Trish is basically like, don't look. That's, yeah. And he's like, oh, and they're like yelling for Trish to join them. And she's like, oh, I'm overdressed. And they're like, okay, hey, like party later. Come on over. I would like that. So um, we go back. Tommy and Trish are still driving. The car breaks down. So Tommy's trying to figure out what to do. He says he needs a screwdriver. They don't have a screwdriver where we eventually, this random hiker shows up, Rob, and he helps them get the car started. They give him a lift back to their place. Um, what does Tommy say? <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, I got something I really need to show oh, you yeah. in my room. They get back I'd to- I'd be like, no way, kid. Um, while they're driving back, no. um, Rob's asking about Who's in the woods? He didn't realize anybody was this deep. Is there he's any kids bears. around? He says he's hunting bears. And Tommy's like, yeah, right. So they get him. They get back to their place. Tommy says about coming in. He has something to show him. So he shows them all the mask and puppets, I guess, he makes with stuff. Um, I still would be like, nope. Basically, then we cut away to the party next door starting. We got some slow dancing and flirting going on. Um yeah. There's a cutaway scene where Trish sees Rob off. Ugh. She's telling him, you know, stick this way. She just met fine. him. And she's saying, oh, come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Shower. Eat. Yeah. And she's basically like, well, if you need to shower, need to eat, basically need a place to crash for a night, you're welcome to come back. Maybe he's a psychopath. So, um, we cut to the part, back to the party. Teddy's offering Jim advice about stuff. Jim's kind of getting pissed at Teddy. Yeah, but some who wins the, in that? Hmm. Jim. Um, we have a drinking competition oh, between the twins and I've been drinking a lot. Tina, is it Tina that wins? One of the double win twins. Yeah, well, the one girl Who wins. Gets? She wants to dance with Polly. Sam gets jealous. Yeah, I think it's her. She leaves the house. Um basically Sam's outside alone. She decides to strip and go skinny dipping for a swim again. There's this that random nice. blow up boat out in the lake so she climbs. wasn't that an inflatable raft yeah that thing <laughs> fire on the stick she looks nice mm. i like her boobies so they look real nice she climbs into the boat and jason eventually kills her he penetrates her <laughs> yeah 
So we cut back inside. Basically, Paul's like, this isn't right. I need to go. Yeah. So he basically abandons Tina. He should have had them both. And goes out to look for Sam. Um, He does see her out in the boat, swims out, finds her dead. As he's coming back to the dock to get away, he gets a crotch shot. He gets speared. In the crotch. So, um, Rob, we cut away to Rob, who does hear Paul scream at this point. So he goes out to start investigating. He knows what's going on. And then um, when he's a little away, he sees a shadow around his camp and realizes it's Jason. So he hurry up and gets back there. And meanwhile, this is such a quick scene. But Jason, Jason, don't mess around. Jason destroys like a bunch of his weapons, tears up his maps. You know, he's trying to um, deter him from tracking. I guess he assumes he's tracking him. I don't know. You would think Jason would just kill him. Um, right? You would think. I always thought that was weird. Why didn't Jason just walk up behind him and kill him? I don't know. Maybe he wants to play with him. Okay. I don't need that visual, but okay. Not in that way. <laughs> so um, we go back to the house. Uh Jim actually ends up hooking up with Tina. Yeah. Um, who and Teddy is kind of pissed about this because it's, he was trying to hook up yeah, with he this comes Tina. Around. He's okay with it. Um, in the middle of all that, well, they go upstairs, have sex, and Teddy finds a <laughs> stag film. I want to know what that is. Leave a comment if you know what that is. I want to see that. So they're down good. there watching it. It's Teddy, Terry, the other twin, Sarah, and Doug. Wow, very good. So Terry eventually goes upstairs telling Tina they need to leave. And Tina's like, go on your own. No way. I'm staying. I'm going to give me some. So um, Terry goes to leave and Jason kills her. Um, Yep. Sarah, also in the middle of all this, invites Doug upstairs to share the bottom bunk. Yeah, who knew, right? So we cut away. Yeah. So we cut away to Mrs. Jarvis. She's back from running. She was out on her own. And here, there's no power in the house. It's ra- It's raining at this point, so we have to have the rain. Um, she's looking for uh, Tommy and Trish. She goes outside, and we're, I'm, assu- I'm we're assuming she's killed because there's a scene where she's just like, and that's it. And I know there's a, scene, a deleted scene where Trish finds mom dead in the tub. Wow. But we don't see. You remember that? I just remember that on something we watched. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah. But we, I mean, we don't see mom again after that, basically. Yeah. Um, basically, Tommy and Trish are driving back from somewhere. I don't know where they went at this I think this they went point. to get a part for the car. Oh. Um, Tommy keeps telling Trish to slow down. The party will be going on all night. You know, don't rush. Yeah, really. Well, they get back and they can't find mom. Power's not working. So <sighs> Trish sa- tells Tommy to stay there to get the power working. And he- she's going to go out and look for mom because she's never out this late. So Tommy's at the house. He, I guess, fixes the light. Um, Trish is out. She oh, yeah. finds Rob's camp and she's hiding in the tent at one point, I think, to get out of the rain. And yep. Rob almost attacks her <laughs> because she, he's not sure what's going on. Uh, so um, we cut away then to Jim discussing with Tina if he was a dev fuck. And she's like, oh, you were amazing. <laughs> so, um, he goes downstairs, takes the underwear and gives it to Teddy, like, put this in your computer, you asshole. And Teddy's like, congratulations, you're not a dead fuck. And he, there's something about get the bottle of wine to celebrate. Um, Jim's in the kitchen looking for the corkscrew. He gets it through the hand, compliments of Jason, and then a machete to the face. Cool. Um, no more McFly. Oh, we cut up to Tina. I'm sorry. I looked at, I was looking and I'm like, I couldn't read what I read. Yeah, the other twin. She's upstairs she's in the window. She's looking, looking out the window and sees that Terry's bike's still there. And she's really looking. And all of a sudden, Jason pops up through the window, pulls her out the window, throws her on top of the station wagon. How's he get up there? Was there a ledge? He's Superman. He can bound, bound to, what is it? Leap tall buildings in a single bound. I don't know. So then we cut back to what? Oh, <laughs> we cut that back. was weird. Oh, yeah, she lives on the card. We cut back to Rob talking to Trish about what happened. That the reason he's looking for Jason is because Jason killed his younger sister, who turns out to be Sandra from Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Very good. Um, he's showing Trish. She, yeah, he's showing Trish all these like articles, and then his body was missing from the morgue recently because she's going, he's dead. Like she's looking, I'm like, you're crazy. He's dead. 
Well, then she kind of starts to believe him. And she's like, oh my God, I left Tommy home alone. So they head back to the cabin. We cut back to Ted watching the film. The film eventually breaks. Uh, he's standing with his back to the screen and he gets a knife to the back of the head. <laughs> And oh, then we have Sarah and Doug upstairs in the shower, getting it on. Sarah eventually leaves the shower. Doug keeps speak singing. She goes back to the room to blow dry her hair, and Jason comes in and kills Doug while the hair dryer's going. He gets her, head crushed. Yeah. Sarah is trying to talk to Doug like, I don't hear you. Well, she goes in the bathroom, finds Doug dead, goes trying to run out of the house, gets down to the door, and gets an X to the torso. Very good. Um, Tommy's home alone. He's standing on the steps and hears somebody trying to break in. So he's just kind of standing there watching. And because I was looking through Rob's stuff. Yeah. That's well, no, that's later. Oh, that's later. All right. Because I did document that. I remember. Um, here it's Rob and Trish because I think Rob breaks one of the window panes to get oh, the door yeah, yeah, open. That was later. And then um, oh, we got a part where we're at. Trish is trying to call the police, and Jason tears the phone box off the wall outside. Um, Rob and Trish decide to head next door to check things out. Um, they tell Tommy to stay there, keep the doors locked. So they go over next door. Um, basically they see the hole in the door. So they know Jason has at least been there. Um, while they're in there, the power goes out. So Rob figures Jason's in the basement. So he tells Trish to stay upstairs and he'll go down and look. Um, Gordon's with him in all the middle of all this. He so gets scared. So he kind of takes off, goes upstairs. Trish is trying to find him, and all of a sudden, Gordon dives out a window upstairs. I, I'm assuming he got scared. I mean, we don't see Gordon again after this, so I don't know. Maybe he survived. Um, he ran away. He's singing out with Muffin. And then in the middle of all this, we get a cut scene where Tommy's going through Rob's stuff and finds the is. articles. So then yep. um, Trish goes upstairs and looking around, and she eventually finds Doug's body in the bathroom. Goes running downstairs yelling for Rob, going, he's here, he's here. She gets down the basement. Um, I don't know, are her, are Rob and Jason already engaged in fighting, or Jason attacks them? Anyway, He forgets something. Oh, yeah, they're certainly... He punches through the steps. Yeah, Rob. Well, I thought that's when he did that to Trish after yeah. she was trying to escape the well, second time. Have, oh, I thought I'm jumping ahead. Yeah. So, um, basically... Rob gets killed. Trish runs down. Her and Rob's doctor leave. Rob... Says he forgot something, goes back down. Jason corners them. They fight and basically get killed. Tr Trish runs upstairs and she runs back downstairs and she runs back up. Jason breaks through the stairs trying to, and tries to grab her. She escapes. She gets back over to the house. Asks Tommy if all the doors and everything are locked. She starts nailing the front door shut. Meanwhile, with all the windows there, it's not like he couldn't get in. Really? So, um... Jason throws Rob's body through the window in the living room. <laughs> That's um, Tommy, uh, Trish is kind of checking Rob. Meanwhile, you know he's dead. And Tommy's like standing with his back against the broken window. And Jason grabs him. That's and cool. Trish starts taking the claw hammer. Then she eventually claw hammers him to the neck to get him to let go of Tommy. So um, they run upstairs, block themselves in Tommy's bedroom. Jason eventually breaks in. Trish takes Tommy's TV and bashes it over his head. Kind of electrocutes <laughs> him. That was funny, too. Well, they... Trish goes out first trying to escape. Well, Jason grabs her legs. Her and Tommy are yelling back and forth trying to distract Jason. Um, prior to all this, Trish said, I'm going to leave him away. You run like hell and get out of here. So Trish runs downstairs. Jason follows her back over to the house. She runs back upstairs, throws herself out a second story window for some reason. Why does she do any of that? I, it, yeah, it doesn't make sense. But, um, but that's okay. Basically, Tommy is back is cool. at the the Jarvis cabin, and he's starting to try to make himself look like Jason as a child. Um, Trish ends up coming back over to the house. Uh, she's fighting Jason with a machete. You know, does cut his win um, fingers what was off. That? Some update I need to do for my Apple. I mean, this is still recording. So we good? Gonna, yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, Jason has her pinned to the floor. Um, well, Trish knows Tommy was there, and she. And before all this, and yelling, you were supposed to leave. What are you still doing here? Well, Tommy comes downstairs looking like Jason. It's a good thing he stayed. Um, he ends up distracting Jason because Jason's looking, and he's like, okay, what's going on? 
So um, Trish grabs the machete and cuts off his mask. Because we, you know, we have to get a shot of Jason's face. Well, yeah. Um, Jason goes back after Trish. Uh, Tommy grabs the machete and hits him in the side of the head to the point his head, he slides. The, That's cool. The head slides down the machete, which I think is a scene a lot of people know from this movie. Do you like um, that? Mm-hmm. Tommy and Trish are hugging. Oh. Tommy kind of looks and Jason's hand twitches a little bit. Oh, so yeah. he grabs the machete and starts hacking the hell out of Jason. Die! Die! And Trish is yelling Tommy's name and it kind of just fades out. And then we go to Trish in the hospital. There's yep. the police, um, a doctor. The doctor saying she's going to need sur surgery on her shoulder, but we have to wait till she's better with some things. Um, Trish is like, you're not answering my questions. And they kind of talk about, you know, I think she, she was concerned with the way Tommy was. And basically the doctor assures her, well, you know, at times like that, you know, we react in a different way and he'll be fine. He'll go back to normal. Sure he does. So yep. um, basically then they let Tommy come in, Trish and him hug again. You get a close up of his face. He opens his eyes. It just has this look and that's it. I like it. So, yeah, I mean... Some people don't, but I don't care. It's a Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> Let's put it like that it. way. Um, it's one of... That's one I've seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of these Friday the 13th. Um, really? Frequently. I just don't remember them because I get them all confused. <laughs> I don't. So, like I said, this is the first in the Tarvi, Tommy Jarvis trilogy, as I always say. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, pig. I get for drinking pop during all these. That's rude and gross. That's you. Yeah, it's me, <laughs> not you. So, that is it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when we post new content. Help share the page. It would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> I said that without taking a breath. Sorry. Oh. Subscribers and watchers, thank you. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all of you. And subscribe, or watchers. Subscribers, you're good. Watchers, subscribe. Uh, check out my other channel, K Doll Games, Toys and More, Toy and Game Reviews, and more over there. Also, Amazon Wishlist is posted. So, if you want to help us out with something on there, that would be great. If there's something you would like us to review, let me know in the comments if I can locate it. Awesome. If I can't and you're willing to get it, that'd be great as well. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.